This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, Heather, ho there, it's Jeff Cutter Diamond. Welcome to another Sports Catastrophe birthday boy. And the birthday boy, oh, as you can see in the pictures, they're birthday boys on April the 7th. Now, if you're thinking, wait a minute, you're doing two birthday guys? Well, two guys for one birthday? Usually you don't. Well, I do, kind of. For the fact that um, I did the I did the Mario Lemieux and Patrick Wild double bill, but this is important because you got yourself those two players you see there are identical twins who will turn forty seven, so they're both born April seventh, nineteen seventy five. Let me introduce you to Tiki and Rondé Barber, identical twins, a rarity in football. Well, the brothers play in football in the NFL is one thing, but to have identical twins. At the same time, holy St. Laurent. It would have been funny if they were both on the same team, but it wasn't. So, I am going to introduce them separately. As Tiki Barber is the one who actually had a shorter career than Rondé Barber, I am going to go with Tiki first. So, Tiki would, played college ball at the University of Virginia, and he played for the Giants for 10 years. No other team. He just played for the New York Giants. He was drafted in the second round of the 97 NFL draft, which isn't that bad. I mean, the Giants needed a running back. I mean, who was their star running back? Dave Maggot? I know it sounds like a different word, but trust me, that wasn't meant. So, when you look at the teams that drafted running back ahead of Tiki Barber, Tampa drafted Warwick Dunn. Well, it worked out. I mean, Warwick Dunn is an icon. Anton Smith went to Buffalo. He was okay for a while. And then Tiki Barber was drafted 36th pick in the in the second round. So yeah, only two guys were drafted. Two running backs were drafted ahead of him, and they both were okay in a sense. They weren't like superstars, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So anyway, Tiki Barber did well for Virginia, bringing Virginia's football program back on the map. I mean, Virginia really. Had that one good year in 1990, and then they just went flat. So, anyway, Tiki Barber was going to be a third down running back, if they call it that, because some running backs come in on third downs for the short yards, or the short yards running back, if you will. But after Ronnie Hampton retired after the 97 season, Tiki took over the reins. He was injured. But he rebounded in 1999 as he got better punt return and receiving skills. So Tiki Barber helped the Giants get to the Super Bowl in 2001, Super Bowl 35. But man, they got no offense. Baltimore won the game 34 7. However, the Giants did not score their touchdown on offense. They scored it off of a freaking kick return. So, anyway, yeah. Barber was given a six-year contract for, from the Giants following that. And he was a part of the Giants offense. He did fantastic and all that. He got 15 touchdowns in the 2004 season, despite the fact that the Giants were really dismal in Eli Manning's rookie campaign. However, Tiki Barber, in the season finale against Dallas, broke Ronnie Hampton's all-time rushing record for the Giants, and Joe Morris's single-season rushing record in the same game. The Giants would rebound for the 05-06 season, and Tiki did the hat trick. He got the single-game rushing record for the Giants. Frank, he had the single-season mark and the career mark. Anyway, yeah. It was amazing what he could do. Tiki's 2005 regular season campaign was good. 1,860 yards, second to Sean Alexander. Anyway, he looked pretty good for himself. Unfortunately, that 2005 season would be bad as the Giants got shut out in the wild card. And Tiki Barber's 2,390 total yards, running, receiving, and returning, 
was the second highest in NFL history behind Marshall Falk's mark in 1999. He took fourth in MVP voting. I think he was. Tiki was a warrior and all that. Tiki retired February 2007. Unfortunately, the worst part was that the year after Tiki Barber retired, that's when the Giants shot the Pats in Super Bowl 42. Anyway. Barber wanted to come back for 2011. Barber said the comeback was not about the money, even though that the New York Post read, ran a story saying that Barber was not financially solvent and he couldn't pay his defense, divorce settlement with his ex-wife. But by September 2011, he stopped his comeback attempt. So he got 10,449 yards in his career, got the 10,000 mark, and 55 rushing touchdowns. He holds a lot of Giants records, including rushing yards in his career, rushing yards in a game, and in season, the, the trifecta, if you will. He had a lot of Giants records and all that. Tiki Barber was not happy with Tom Coughlin's coaching style. Well, Coughlin almost ruined himself, but after that win over the 18 0 Pats, he kept he got an extension. So, anyway, Tiki became a TV broadcaster and landed a role with NBC when he contributed to the Today Show. It was a correspondent for Today and analyst for Sunday Night Football. Barber was unusual among retired athletes in his desire to cover hard news and political stories. It was amazing what he could do. NBC would let him go in 2010, which was kind of weird. However, as of February 2021, he is a host for a CBS radio show with Brendan Terry called Tiki and Tyranny. Barber is a frequent judge on Iron Chef America and Chopped. That's funny. Anyway. Tiki appeared in Orange is the New Black, The Electric Company, and even on Cash Cap one time. Anyway, he's co-chairman and co-founder of Fusio, an online marketplace for athletes to be booked for local sporting event, uh, appearances, speaking events, sorry, coaching and personal events. Tiki was born after Rodney by seven minutes. So anyway. Tiki married his Virginia sweetheart in 1999, but they divorced in 2010, separating after 11 years of marriage, even though that his wife was pregnant with her twin daughters at the time. But Tiki cheated on his wife with a 23-year-old. That guy's an NBC intern. Anyway, Barbara would marry Tracy Lynn Johnson. And Tiki has three children with her. So, kind of awkward, don't you think? Well, there's Tiki. Now, what about Rondé? He played his entire 16 year career with the Tampa Bay Bucks, so he outlived his brother in football terms. <clears throat> So Rondé went to University of Virginia too as a defensive back and a kick returner. Alonzo his brother. Virginia won the Independence Bowl and the Peach Bowl in his time and he decided to 
entered the 97 NFL Draft. Tampa drafted Rondé Barber in the third round of the 97 Draft. I wonder if the Giant. I wonder if the Giants had a chance to draft him and they didn't in the third round. No, they took the Bucks. The Bucks took Rondé Barber two picks before the Giants can make their pick. And the Giants ended up with Ryan Phillips. So yeah, Tampa decided to draft him and all that. It was kind of weird. However, Rondé and Tiki Barber weren't the first set of twins to be selected in the same draft in NFL history. They were the fourth. The Soul brothers, Rich and Ron. The McKenzie brothers, Reggie and Rowley. And the Cash brothers, Keith and Kerry. Keith Cash is the guy memorable for that game for the Chiefs against the Oilers when she spiked the ball against the snout of one Buddy Ryan on a poster. In fact, the Barbers were the seven set of twins to play in the NFL. Rondé would only play one game as a rookie, even though Tampa did get to the division around the playoffs. However, he started, he was moved to be nine starts for Rondé. In his second season. And then he would come in his own as being the right cornerback for Tampa. Tampa almost got to the Super Bowl but lost to the Rams in the 99th season. <clears throat> Barber got a six year deal with the Bucks on April 9, 2001, my 16th birthday, if you must know. Ronnie Barber is known for sealing the NFC title game in 2003 when the Bucks went into Philadelphia in the final game ever played at Federal Stadium. For football, Barber picked off a pass and ran it 92 yards back the other way. It was amazing. And Barber made five tackles but no interceptions as Tampa crushed the Raiders 48-21 in the Super Bowl. So Ronnie Barber was just fantastic in all that. And in December 2005, he became the first cornerback in NFL history to get 20 interceptions and 20 sacks in his career. That's amazing. How you could sack a guy and you're a quarterback. You're supposed to play in the defensive backfield. <clears throat> so, anyway. It was amazing and all that. Tiki Barber, no, Ronnie Barber had two pick sixes for the Tampa favorite uh, Bucks in a game against Philadelphia. What is it with Donovan right now? And in 2007, he broke the record for most interceptions in Tampa history by getting his 32nd. <clears throat> so, he was well, well first. Ronnie Barber, unfortunately, in 2009, finished his a season without an interception for the first time since his rookie campaign. He was good. In fact, in 2010, Ronnie Barber set the mark for most consecutive starts by an cor NFL cornerback. Like a defensive backfield player. With his 172nd career start. Which beat the mark of Dick LeBeau. Dick LeBeau. The defensive coordinator legend. Wow. So anyway, Ronnie Barber retired in 2013. I mean. It was amazing. 16 years with the Bucks. Like, for one team. That's amazing how you played for 16 years for one team. And just one team only. Tom Brady would have done that, but he decided to go to Tampa. But regardless, in 241 career games, Ronnie Barber had 28 sacks and 47 interceptions with 8 for pick sixes. He actually has the NFL record for most consecutive start by a defensive back and one by a cornerback, but defensive back. 224, including the playoffs from 99 to 2012. Wow, that's amazing. And he's the only player in NFL history with 45 plus interceptions and also 25 plus sacks. So he holds a lot of Bucks records. Most picks in a single season with 10 in 2001. In career, 47. And he actually has most games played as a Tampa Bay Buck ever, 241. So that's amazing. So Rondé became an NFL color analyst for Fox. From 2013 to 2019, he called NFL and Fox games with Chris Myers and Kenny Albert. 
Ronda and Kiki co-wrote eight children's books and all that. Ronde, unlike his brother, only has two kids. But, you know, the Barber brothers, it's just amazing how identical twins can make such a big impact in the NFL. And that's just amazing. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.